My name's Jeb, and it starts with fire. Maybe I overcooked this one. This one needs another minute on the heat. This video is sponsored by CrowdCow. <laughs> CrowdCow is a marketplace for high quality meats that creates a meaningful connection between the farmer and the customer. So people can know and appreciate exactly where their food comes from and get higher quality meat and seafood that tastes better and is better for them and their family. Here's how it works. Build your box. Explore and shop their high quality beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and more. Join the herd, become a member for free and get perks like 5% off and free shipping for qualifying orders. Get it on your schedule. Each cut is vacuum sealed, frozen at the peak of freshness, and sustainably shipped to your door. I expected a styrofoam cooler, but they figured out how to ship dry ice in a cardboard box. Most of this packaging is compostable, but does it work? <laughs> I decided to leave the box out in the hot sun for a day to find out. Pretty soon I'll be enjoying my meat and seafood that tastes better and is higher quality than the grocery store while supporting farmers that are doing it the right way. All their meat has no growth hormones or unnecessary antibiotics. You can choose meat that's grass-fed, pasture-raised, or wild-caught. Should you need an excuse to throw a cookout this summer, Proud Cow also has everything you need for a classic barbecue at deals you can't beat. Whether you take the time to smoke your favorite cuts or want a no-fuss grill out with hot dogs, patties, and ready-to-cook sides and desserts, they've got you covered for a delicious weekend. Click the link in the video description for details. These can thaw out in the fridge for now. ribeyes will sit on the counter for at least an hour. The salt will draw out flavorful juices, and if the meat's room temperature, it'll make it easier to get consistent results. Smells good. Some folks consider this fat layer on the New York Strip a delicacy, but I'm going to cut it out. Let's get some zucchini from the garden too. To start, you grow a garden. Oh. 
hopefully it doesn't infect its neighbors. Try not to damage the stem. I use a Weber charcoal grill, but the best grill is the one you have in front of you. Cleaning the last cookout is a snap. I'm leaving a cool spot this time because the ribeyes have to render a little. Using enough lighter fluid makes sure the whole fire starts at once. Plus it's fun. I'll cook the corn in foil. Oil and salt is all you really need. There's nothing wrong with eating a bowl of beans with your meat. The fire's almost ready when the coals burn bright and the ash starts to settle on top. I put the lid on to chill the fire out. The quick sideways lid open technique is to check for residual lighter fluid. Always mark the stakes on the hottest part of the fire first. Don't crowd the grill. These do look a little overdone for me. I can adjust that with the resting protocol. Usually they should stay covered for about 10 minutes, but I'll uncover them for five minutes so they can relax. Mark the zucchini well and pull it off before it gets mushy.
Then toss it in the oil and salt. Let's add some flavor to this corn. Chickens! Plate the meat last so it stays hot. This ribeye turned out to be medium, but the fattiness of the meat provides some forgiveness. Click my link in the description box below to get $15 off your first order and free membership. The meat tasted good. Ooh. Woo!